Imagine a world where your operating system, the very thing that powers everything on your computer, feels like it's holding you back. You spend hours configuring, tweaking, troubleshooting, all in the hope that your system will just work. Modern Linux has promised freedom, flexibility, and power, but increasingly, it can feel like you're trapped between innovation and frustration. Some distros are blazing trails to solve this, quietly reshaping what Linux can be, yet few people are aware of what's actually changing behind the scenes. The tension comes from the very nature of Linux itself, its self-open source at its heart, yet fragmented across thousands of distributions, each with different philosophies, design choices, and target users. This fragmentation has always been both a strength and a weakness. The strength is obvious. Freedom of choice, creativity, endless possibilities. The weakness is just as clear. Inconsistency, unpredictable updates, and compatibility headaches that can make even simple tasks unexpectedly difficult. But why has it gotten worse in recent years? And more importantly, how are the best Linux distributions beginning to fix these problems in ways that could finally make Linux feel modern, polished, and reliable without losing its soul? For many users, the pain starts with basic usability. Linux has made huge strides in user interfaces, but the experience is still a patchwork. You might install one distro and marvel at its sleek Mac OS-like polish, only to find that another critical app doesn't work, or that updates break things. This inconsistency creates an invisible tension that can quietly erode trust in the system. Enterprises feel it acutely. IT teams can spend days resolving dependency issues or managing software compatibility across dozens of machines. It's not just an annoyance. It's a measurable cost in time, productivity, and sometimes even security. And the problem isn't just technical. It's cultural. Linux thrives on experimentation and community-driven development which is amazing for innovation, but it also means decisions aren't always made with user experience in mind. The result is an ecosystem where some distros shine as examples of modern computing, while others feel outdated, clunky, or simply inaccessible to anyone who isn't willing to spend hours in the terminal. One of the most surprising aspects of modern Linux is how much power is hidden behind technical barriers. For someone willing to learn, the freedom is unparalleled, you can customize everything, automate tasks, and even build a system that is faster and more secure than almost anything else on the market. But for the average user, this power often feels like complexity dressed up as choice. It's a paradox. The same openness that gives Linux its strength also undermines its accessibility. Companies that try to deploy Linux in production environments quickly realize that without careful planning, even small issues can cascade into major headaches. Software updates, driver compatibility, and hardware support are constant sources of friction. And while communities are often quick to help, waiting for solutions can be costly. Yet within this chaos, certain distributions have started to focus not just on power, but on smoothing the user journey, bridging the gap between flexibility and stability. The approach some of these distros are taking is fascinating. Rather than simply offering a choice, they are curating experiences. They carefully select software, polish interfaces, and streamline updates so that everything just works. It's a subtle but profound shift in philosophy. Instead of assuming users are willing to troubleshoot constantly, these distros assume users want to be productive first and tinkerers second. The implications are enormous. Suddenly Linux isn't just a playground for enthusiasts, it becomes a credible platform for businesses, creators, and anyone who wants a reliable system without sacrificing control. This is why you're seeing more developers, designers, and even enterprises seriously reconsidering Linux, not because it's trendy, but because the barrier to entry is finally being addressed in a thoughtful, modern way. One of the underlying reasons this matters so much now is the changing landscape of computing itself. Hardware has become more diverse, cloud integration is essential, and user expectations are higher than ever. People expect seamless updates, consistent performance, and software that just works across multiple devices. Linux hasn't always met these expectations, and that's why it often feels like it lags behind Windows or Mac OS in mainstream adoption. But the innovations happening in certain distros are shifting this perception. They're addressing issues that were once considered unfixable within the Linux ecosystem. Dependency hell, inconsistent design, and fragmented support. 
What's remarkable is that they're doing it while maintaining the principles that make Linux special transparency, security, and openness. This balance between modern polish and open source integrity is a delicate dance, but some distributions are mastering it in ways that could redefine the future of Linux. Another key area where Linux is evolving is hardware support. For years, users were forced to tinker with drivers, kernel modules, or even compile software from source to get devices working. It was an invisible barrier that many people simply tolerated because the alternative wasn't appealing. Today the landscape is changing. Certain distros now prioritize out-of-the-box hardware compatibility, from graphics cards to Wi-Fi adapters to printers. They integrate drivers and firmware seamlessly, reducing frustration and increasing trust. This shift is subtle, but has massive real-world impact. Think about IT teams managing hundreds of devices, or creative professionals who just want their software to run without daily headaches. These improvements don't just save time, they change the perception of Linux from a hobbyist platform to a legitimate, reliable choice for serious work. Even security, often touted as a strength of Linux, is being reimagined. Traditional Linux security models assume a knowledgeable user who can configure everything manually. This works for enthusiasts, but can be a liability in enterprise environments. Modern distros are experimenting with automated security updates, better sandboxing and proactive monitoring all without sacrificing control. Imagine a system where vulnerabilities are patched seamlessly, but you still retain visibility and choice. That's a paradigm shift in how Linux approaches trust and reliability. For companies, it's a game changer, allowing them to deploy Linux confidently without needing a team of experts to babysit every machine. It's also important to consider the impact of software ecosystems. Linux has historically struggled to attract mainstream software due to market share concerns, leaving users dependent on open source alternatives that can be inconsistent in quality. But some modern distros are changing the equation by focusing on compatibility layers, curated app stores, and seamless integration with cloud services. This opens the door for professionals to use Linux without giving up essential tools creating a more compelling alternative to Windows or Mac OS. The strategy is subtle, almost invisible to the casual observer, but it addresses a critical friction point that has limited Linux adoption for decades. Yet, the most fascinating evolution is cultural. Distros are increasingly adopting user-centric philosophies. Borrowing lessons from commercial operating systems while staying true to open source, they emphasize predictability, design consistency, and onboarding experiences that were once alien to Linux. This isn't just about aesthetics, it's about how people interact with their systems, how icily they can become productive, and how little cognitive friction they encounter. Over time, these seemingly small improvements accumulate, creating a sense of polish and professionalism that Linux has historically lacked. It's why certain distros now feel like they belong in an enterprise office or a creative studio, rather than just a developer's home machine. There's also an interesting economic angle. Enterprises are starting to recognize that the cost of Linux isn't just the software, it's the time spent managing and troubleshooting it. Modern distros that reduce friction are directly reducing operational costs, which is why they are gaining traction in corporate environments. This adoption isn't always visible to the average user, but it's quietly reshaping the market, driving investment in Linux solutions, and encouraging more polished, reliable offerings. The feedback loop is powerful. As distros become easier to use, more businesses adopt them, which in turn funds further development and refinement. Even from a creative standpoint, the improvements are striking. Designers, video editors, developers are now exploring Linux with renewed interest because they can rely on performance and stability without constantly interrupting their workflows. This is a big change from just a few years ago when using Linux for professional content creation was a gamble. Now, thanks to thoughtful distro design, it's possible to focus on work instead of system maintenance, opening the door to new projects, innovations, and creative expression that might have been impossible before. So what does all this tell us about the future of Linux? It's evolving from a system that required patience, technical skill, and tolerance for rough edges into an ecosystem that blends power with polish. Distributions are quietly leading the charge, solving problems that once seemed fundamental. They're addressing usability, hardware support, security, software ecosystems, and even the subtle psychological aspects of system interaction. 
The result is an operating system that is finally starting to feel coherent, reliable, and modern. For enterprises, professionals, and everyday users, this evolution matters more than many realize because it reshapes expectations of what Linux can be. In the end, the problem with modern Linux has never been the technology itself. It's been the gap between potential and delivery the space where power, choice, and freedom collided with inconsistency, friction, and invisible complexity. What we're witnessing now is a shift where that gap is shrinking. Distros are becoming smarter, more polished, and more considerate of the user experience without betraying the principles that make Linux unique. It's a delicate balance, but one that signals a new era for Linux. One where it is no longer just a platform for enthusiasts, but a viable, reliable, and modern choice for anyone who values freedom, security, and productivity. By paying attention to these changes, understanding the motivations behind them, and observing how distros are evolving, it becomes clear that Linux is quietly reinventing itself, offering a vision of what computing could look like when power meets thoughtful design. The implications are profound, the opportunities are real, and for anyone who has struggled with Linux in the past, the promise of a more harmonious, capable, and approachable system is finally within reach.